Hey YouTube, it's me, St. Marcus, again here with another episode of How to Beat Sword Soul. This is today's matchup with Despia. And we're going to get right into it, uh, using the same deck list from the uh, previous video, and uh, we'll move forward now. So we're going to start out with a bad hand. We're going to brick really badly, so we're gonna, just going to set an Ash Blossom here. He's going to Special Summon of a Shooter, link it off into a Tenny, and he's going to activate the Shooter effect, clearing it off the board. So, for him, it's fine. And then he goes into a Link 2 for the Halk. I could Ash here, but usually the Halk line here is to go into Aurorodon. So we're going to wait till he fully commits to a Aurorodon combo. When Despot hits the field, we're going to Biru, like, again, like the Brave Tenny video that I showed you uh, on the last video. Uh, and we're going to make a token. So we're going to end his turn here. He's going to pass it over to us, and we draw the Luber for the turn. We're going to activate a Luber, and he's going to just drop a big Effect Failer on us. We're going to go into Predator Plant, making a DPE. We're going to use this DPE, and we're going to chain the Brandon Red with the Luber. And we're going to add it back to hand, make Chimera, using the Predator Plant on field. So we both got the uh, Chimera and the DPE now, and now we're going to use the uh, Chimera effect to pop the token. We're going to get the draw two off of that, drawing into a Super Poly and a Veiler, so we're pretty heavy set right now. Uh, he's going to reveal Long Wand going into token, and then I'll chain the DPE, get a ring of token so that he can't synchro, so that he has the normal summon to synchro here. He goes into the Chow Fang, but he has nothing much to follow up with. So we pretty much put him on a point where he can no longer synchro unless he normal summoned another monster. Uh, we're going to continue here a full combo. He's going to Ash Blossom us. So we're going to go to battle phase here, super calling the Chow Fang, and we're just going to swing for game. So that sums up uh, match one. In the siding period, we're going to side the uh, token collectors in and maybe two twin twisters. And on the uh, starting hand, we are going to walk into a Twin Twister. We're going to be going second as he's going first with Moe to reveal the Taiye to make a token here. On the token summon, I'm going to chain Token Collector. And I'm going to stop him from synchroing. Card just shuts down the deck. It's so good. In the draw phase, we're going to activate Twin Twisters. And we're going to pop the back row, sending the Nibiru from hand. So now we just got rid of his... Momentum of stopping us and we can go full combo uh, with two cards in hand. We don't know what they are uh, We know he revealed the ties. So we know one of them is so the other one could be a hand trap at this point So after that we're going to go into the main phase because we never want to do anything else in draw phase against uh, Sword soul uh, It's it's not a fun time if you get into a habit against sword soul to do in draw phase So we're going to add the edge imp and poly here off a of patchwork and then we're going to brand it opening into an louver Sending off the edge imp so we can get another patchwork in hand We have a light material in hand for the uh, combo needed So we're going to add Brandon red here and uh, patchwork And then we'll poly off the uh, A louver with the failure going to a masquerade We'll chain masquerade effect here so we can for a full 25 and swing over uh, we wanted the query piece here because we are out of gas essentially right now. Um, we have no names in hand. Uh, if they remove this Quiritus, we at least get a name on the field or we get the Uber back. We're going to set the brand in red. He'll pass turn and go to him. He's going to summon the Adhara. But uh, again, I don't think there's much he can do at this point. He's going to go into a Tenyi. Tenny, he's gonna pass off of the Tenny. He didn't really have much of a play. I mean, he could have. He's, he's just this token collector has him underneath. We're gonna chain the brand in red, adding the Luber to our hand at the end phase, or I did that in the draw phase because I can't remember how this one went. But uh, we're gonna make this thing zero before I summon the Luber. Add, add another brand in red. Poly off into a drama, and uh, edge jump into another Chimera. Pop the Tenny and draw two, so we have card advantage if we uh, somehow get screwed here. And then we'll go for a game. So that pretty much sums up match one against Sword Soul. Uh, the whole game plan is to stop them just from synchroing, so we interact and pop their uh, synchro materials. Um, we want to pop the token because of the Tenny package allows them to continue to extend further if they have a non-effect monster on the field. So we're going to go into match two, game one, with the uh, good old starter hand of we can make DPE in one card. 
Um, he's going to go into combo, sending the Shatana down here. Uh, one thing we need to know about the Shatana, not many people play it, but the people that do play it, uh, we have to pay attention to the fact that if we pop a non-effect monster on their side of the field, they have a non-targeting pop on our side of the field. And you'll see that come up in the next match because uh, I did not realize I had that had he had that engrave. I went to do laundry while he did his turn. So he's going to go into Hulk combo, Hulk make, Aurora Dawn. Aurora Dawn make either Arc Late or Baron A. Here he goes Arc Late. He's going to do this emergence, add a tie, banish. Make a Synchro, add back for Adhara, the Shatana, go on the Yazi, pop the Aurora Dawn, and he'll screw up combo here. Uh, with the Aurora Dawn, he should have popped the token, and he would have been fine, but he actually just stutters here. So his board wasn't as strong as it could be, and it was a big misplay on his part. So he'll add the long one here, but he has no room to summon anything else. We top deck the Super Poly here, which is going to be nuts. And we're just going to probably weigh the, the Herald. We're going to pitch off the Malicious, because we can always just add the Malicious back with the Denier. So we'll make Mud Dragon, and then we'll chain the effect of Mud Dragon, making it dark, so he can no longer target our summons with Valor if he had Valor in hand. We're going to add Patchwork off the edge, and we just pitch. We're going to add Brandon Red. We're going to continue the combo off. Patchwork adding the Poly and the edge. Imp. We're going to Fusion Summon afterwards using the... Chimera package again, sending Denier, Edge Imp, draw two cards, draw into another Brandon Red, which is nice, and a Ghost Ogre. We'll summon the Denier back because we had... That might be a misplay. I might have misplayed here, thinking about that. Uh-oh. If you have a Destiny Hero in your grave or that, yep. So I missed... I misplayed here. Oh, okay, now I remember what the misplay was. I remember saying, oh no, I don't have another Destiny Hero on Grave, so this was a misplay on my part. So, illegal game state. <laughs> Realizing that now. He's gonna go Shantana into 10 e go combo. We're gonna react to Ghost Ogre, keep him a non effect monster, we're bringing red right into a second Chimera. Pop 2. Kill. He'll use Shatana to attempt to pop. We'll print it opening to stop him from popping us. He'll add the uh, Shatana to hand, which, if you remember, I said before that the Tenyes have an effect in hand or in grave. They can banish themselves. Well, guess what happens next? This man blows up a Shatana on me and kills my Chimera. And then sends back the, te uh, the Tenyi. At this point, I'm just going to go straight into DPE or uh, Dangerous here and have follow-up. So I'm going to add off of the Tragedy Send to add a Drama. And then I'll poly into a DPE. Uh, no, I won't. Because I actually, actually activated Verte here. So we'll do Brandon in red. Pitching off Tragedy and Drama, making a Masquerade. Summoning back the Drama and then adding off of the Tragedy here. So I'll add the Luber and we'll summon back the Drama. He'll go Nibiru Tribute Summon to kill the Masquerade so that he would not die to a card effect. Unreal. This blew my mind. And we're just going to attempt to try to go full combo here. We'll send off a Super Poly. Super Polying off and take your skinny on and going for game. Besides that one misplay at the Denier... <laughs> Ouch. Catching that now. Uh, we're going to Foolish Burial. He's going to make us go first. We're going to send Tragedy. Tragedy effect to add. We're going to add us a Drama Turge. Now we have three fairies in hand. And it gives us an opportunity if we wanted to go into Dark Lord here. So we're going to add a Infusion off two into a Masquerade. And attempt the effect of Drama Turge, which he's going to respond with a Ghost Bell. He'll negate the Drama Turge, and I'll go Sad Face. Set a Brandon Red. Set an opening and pass. He's going to activate Impermanence. As soon as he summons his Fashuda. Why did he take life points here? Oh, because he forgot to take life points on the Ghost Ball. Okay. So he's going to activate the effect of... I, oh yeah, I reacted to the Imperm is what it was. I, I actually said I'm going to chain to the Imperm. 
So I'm going to activate comedy here, sending the comedy and attributing the, uh, attributing the masquerade that was going to be imperms in the same chain. I'm going to summon out the tragedy so that I can have follow up. And I'll add it to hand here. I'll put it on field so that he can read it. There you go. Put it on field so he can read it again. He's going to summon the Tenny. He's going to do Tenny bounce my back row. I'm going to activate brand red. I'm going to banish the drama and tragedy again. Go into another masquerade. Uh, we want them to pay for every action. We're going to do tragedy effect and drama effect. Uh, we're going to add off the tragedy one more time in the Luber. He's going to summon the Adhara. Go Monk Tenny off the Adhara. Summon Sorcel Tyop. Banish the Ashuna. Go into the Boxia. And I'm going to negate the Boxia at the drama charge here. He's going to continue to do Tenny combo and then link off into a. Chow Fang, which he used a light and earth. So I can no longer use light effects while this thing's on board. He's going to remove my Masquerade, which is fine. I'm going to summon back the Aluber, negating the effect of Chow Fang, which would, have, which would have added him a tuner to hand after destroying a monster that I had. Um, I'll summon back the Masquerade at the end phase here, and then I'll draw into a Poly. He's going to activate Blackout, killing out my two big boss beaters. I lose the Masquerade, it gets banished. I activate the effect of Theater, bringing back the Masquerade from Grave. And he'll summon the Vashuda out of deck, because the Chow Fang is no longer negated. I'm going to then add again Brandon Red, which is a terrific card, off of Luber for the third or fourth time you've seen. Um, I'm going to activate Brandon Red, target the drama, I'm going to fusion off. Um, with Polly by just keeping the drama in hand. Summoning Chimera. Uh, swinging back drama. Popping two on field. Drawing one. And swinging for game here. He'll add off of the Chow Pain effect. Add the Gamma. I'm not going to do any more effects. I'm just going to swing for game. So that's match two. Uh, he will be going first here. He'll start off combo with Sword Soul effect. Sword Soul. Uh, he'll go incredible into Sword Soul Moye. Moye effect reveal Taie. Make token. Um, I could have Valored here, but since I have both Nibiru and Valor, I'm not too worried unless he goes into um, the Aurorodon combo and tries to make an Arc Light. So he's just going to go into Chalfang and Chain Yang to attempt to screw with me uh he's getting pretty frustrated playing against me right now so he's thinking is chow Fane the better option instead of going baron here so i'm just going to beer him at this point make a token put it on his side of the field we'll start off turn doing patrick patrick the add eat an ash off it okay that's fine activate poly sending drama and tragedy and the nibiru uh, we'll pop the Nibiru token, draw two with Polly and Grave, and uh, we will be adding off the drama, adding off of the tragedy, and summoning the drama back. He cannot veil me because I Polly and Grave. I explain this to him. He says, "Oh, that's right." Um, summon back the drama, add off the e tragedy for a Luber, and then we'll pop the token, draw two. Pretty good. Drawing another hand trap is always nice. We'll activate Luber. He'll go effect veiler, and I'll go okay swing for game. And that was a quick game, quick OT gay. Here's a game where I have a lot of misplays. I disconnected twice during this game. I did not realize he sent Shaitan into grave when I came back from doing laundry. Um, that's going to cost me. So he's going to go full combo. Because I had nothing in hand. I said, go do full combo. I'm going to do laundry. Ink token. Do, 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 do. Coming back, coming back. Link off. He's got Baron to Fleur. Draw for turn, then a Beer. You just love to see your hand trap on the draw of the turn. It just feels so nice to have something so useless in your hands. Uh, we're going to look at his board real quick. He's got a dark, a light, an earth, and a wind. So my first idea here is I need to remove this card because this card's a Valor, and this card's just the body at 2,500. Uh, this card has no effects in Grave. 
we're all good. He's got a Baron to Fleur Negate that I will have to get by somehow. So we're just going to start with the turn going in the main phase because, again, we don't want to do anything in draw phase against this deck. We're immediately going to set a tragedy, activate Super Poly. We're going to shoot off the um, theater for our discard and we'll activate tragedy effect on the new chain to add. He does not negate this. So now I'm trying to bait out his Baron negate. Uh, I'll do the Aluber, Aluber summon. Oh yeah, I already set the card. I cannot summon the Aluber because I've already set Tragedy here. So then I go Fusion Destiny. He takes the bait. I use Perskinion um, to add Chalfang. And we proceed to screw up after killing this Baron to Fleur. We kill the Baron to Fleur. Burn him for the Flame Wing Man effect for another 3k. And then we kill the Monk of Tenyi. And then he acts Shatana effect in Grave, which I had no knowledge of, because, again, when did laundry. Oh well, it's going to put us in, in a pretty tight spot now. Putting the Skinny on the Grave, we now just have the Chow Fang on board. He's going to go add Hara combo on me. Going to Hulk. Going to Rordon. And what did I say before? If he hits this board, what do you do? We rock him. I'm gonna rock him for everything he's worth. He's gonna use a Shuna effect because now they can extend past the token. He's got 10 E's engraved for this. He's gonna special summon the uh, Vishuda. He's gonna normal summon the Ghost Ogre, or Ghost, uh, sorry, Ghost Bell. And go into Chen Ying, and this is going to put me in a really difficult spot. He's going to have 3,400 over my 2,600. Now he banished the Ashuna, and by banishing the Ashuna, he can now chain the Chen Ying. So now he's going to summon one from deck. He's going to banish one non targeting. I'm going to bring in red, target the um, Tragedy, Fusion off into the uh, Fusion off the Nibiru into Quirites, because now. He'll want to banish one from field. I'm forcing him to banish the Quiritus uh, here so that I can actually get another body on field afterwards. Uh, he'll banish two after this. He'll banish my Quiritus, uh, both my fusion monsters and the Perskinian. I'm okay with that because now I get to summon from the deck. Uh, thinking on summon, I added the comedy off of the tragedy and I summoned the Aluber of Jester of Despia off of Quiritus. I'll change the effect of, Des uh, of Aluber to add Brandon Red. Uh, looking at my grave, I have a little options to remove this chaining as it is. Uh, our best option to remove this monster because he is actually one of the hardest monsters for us to out unless we get into the Dark Lord. He's now got a minus nine on our monsters and he's gaining minus nine. So he's at 39 and will be minus nine if we have a 3k, so 21 is our highest attack. He'll go battle phase killing the Aluber, which is fine with us. We'll go into draw phase, standby main, go into opening, opening pitch off Brandon and Red. And we're going to pitch off Brandon and Red to add a limitum. We're going to normal summon the Jester. Jester's going to add us a Brandon and Red. We'll activate Brandon and Red, target in the Luber and Grave, and then we'll fusion off the one on field and two from hand. And I was like, wait, thinking I'm fusion monster. I go on the Chimera, I misclicked. So we're going to go into Chimera, and we're going to banish off one from field, two from hand. We'll then activate the effect of pop, and we'll activate the effect of Adler to bring one back. We're going to bring back Quiritus. Um, we're going to go into Quiritus and Chimera. We draw and draw two, pop one. We're going to pop the back row. He didn't think I was going to go for the back row. He thought I was going to go for maybe the token here, or maybe make a misplay off of the chaining. He couldn't target the. He couldn't target me with this uh, Chimera here, so it's nice. Um, we're gonna kill the Chimera by putting it the zero of Quiritus. So he's only gonna take 2,200 off of that. We'll do Quiritus and the Adhara. 
Because again, I think he's got this thing sneaking in here somewhere. Unless he's got it banished finally. He's got the Shatana banished. I was very worried after the first misplay. I need to go Taiye. Taiye effect to make a token. I'll then chain token collector and eat scoop up his board. And that should be the that should be the end of this game. So I hope this helps. I hope this was informative enough for you to understand what's happening here. And uh I'll be posting a Flu Wanderies version on the next video, and I'll also be dropping a combo video. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, and uh, tell me your thoughts.